Right now, a youth summit on opioid awareness is underway as local students from Clark County, family members of victims and also law enforcement all getting together really in one place to try and tackle this issue. 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi is live at the event on what organizers are hoping to achieve today. Hi, Masa. Hi Dana, hi Todd. This event is put on by the DEA. It's the first of its kind, but they are hoping it's going to become an annual summit. We set up in the back here, so we don't want to disturb, disturb anyone. A former NFL player, Ryan Leaf, just talked about his struggles with addiction. And right now, that's Chris Angel on the stage. Select students have been picked to be here along with coaches, all from, from Clark County. That's because organizers say student athletes are particularly vulnerable to becoming addicted to painkillers. Listen to a coach and a student we spoke with last night. I hurt my knee uh, during the soccer game, and I landed on it wrong, and it started like moving and popping when I did it. We're at such a high risk with the injuries, whether it's a shoulder or a knee or an ankle or some chronic pain. I think awareness is going to be the big thing. How do we prescribe it properly and then monitor it once it's prescribed with our athletes? So today is really just about learning about how potent prescription painkillers can become, what a big problem they are, and it's also about recognizing red flags. And the hope here is the students from different schools are going to go back out to the classroom tomorrow and empower other kids. Back out here live, we know that the sheriff is here, the AG is here. We're going to have much more on what everyone is hoping to achieve. Coming up tonight on 13 Action News Live at 5, reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Todd Dana, let's take it back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, Masa. Yeah.